March 28, the allotments of the remaining land. Now that the land was under Israelite control, the entire community of Israel gathered at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle. But there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given to you? Select three men from each tribe, and I will send them out to explore the land and map it out. They will then return to me with a written report of their proposed divisions of their new homeland. Let them divide the land into seven sections, excluding Judah's territory in the south and Joseph's territory in the north. And when you record the seven divisions of the land and bring them to me, I will cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord our God to assign land to each tribe. The Levites, however, will not receive any allotment of land. Their role as priests of the Lord is their allotment. And the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh won't receive any more land, for they have already received their grant of land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them on the east side of the Jordan River. As the men started on their way to map out the land, Joshua commanded them, Go and explore the land, and write a description of it. Then return to me, and I will assign the land to the tribes by casting sacred lots here in the presence of the Lord at Shiloh. The men did as they were told and mapped the entire territory into seven sections, listing the towns in each section. They made a written record and then returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. And there at Shiloh, Joshua cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord to determine which tribe should have each section. The Land Given to Benjamin The first allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. It lay between the territory assigned to the tribes of Judah and Joseph. The northern boundary of Benjamin's land began at the Jordan River, went north of the slope of Jericho, then west through the hill country and the wilderness of beth From there, the boundary went south to Luz, that is, Bethel, and proceeded down to Adaroth Adar on the hill that lies south of lower beth Horon. The boundary then made a turn and swung south along the western edge of the hill facing Beth Horon, ending at the village of Kiriath Baal, that is, Kiriath Jerim, a town belonging to the tribe of Judah. This was the western boundary. The southern boundary began at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim. From that western point, it ran to the spring at the waters of Nephtoah and down to the base of the mountain beside the valley of Ben Hinnom at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there, it went down the valley of Hinnom, crossing south of the slope where the Jebusites lived, and continued down to Enrogel. From Enrogel, the boundary proceeded in a northerly direction and came to En Shemesh and on to Gililoth, which is across from the slopes of Adummim. Then it went down to the stone of Bohan. Bohan was Reuben's son. From there, it passed along the north side of the slope overlooking the Jordan Valley. The border then went down into the valley, ran past the north slope of Beth Hogla, and ended at the north bay of the Dead Sea, which is the southern end of the Jordan River. This was the southern boundary. The eastern boundary was the Jordan River. These were the boundaries of the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. The towns given to Benjamin. These were the towns given to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Kizus, Beth Ereba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Pera, Ophrah, Kafir Ammoni, Ophni, and Geba, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. Also, Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Maza, Rechem, Irpil, Teralah, Zila, Haleph, Jebus, that is, Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath Jerum, fourteen towns with their surrounding villages. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. The land given to Simeon. The second allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their homeland was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's homeland included Beersheba, Sheba, Moladah, Hazar Shul, Bela, Ezum, Iltolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sheruin, thirteen towns with their surrounding villages. It also included Ain, Rimon, Ether and Ashun, four towns with their villages, including all the surrounding villages as far south as Balath Beer, also known as Ramah of the Negev. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. 
Their allocation of land came from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an allocation within the territory of Judah. The land given to Zebulun. The third allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's homeland started at Sered. From there it went west, going past Merilah, touching Dabasheth, and proceeding to the brook east of Jachnium. In the other direction, the boundary went east from Sered to the border of Kisloth Tabor, and from there to Debereth and up to Japhia. Then it continued east to Gath Hefer, Ethkazan, and Rimen, and turned toward Nea. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hanathon and ended at the valley of Iftael. The towns in these areas included Kedeth, Nahalal, Shimron, Idalah, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Issachar. The fourth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Issachar. Its boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kisaloth, Shunem, Hapharaim, Shihon, Anaharith, Rabith, Kishin, Ebez, Remeth, and Ganim, Inhada, and beth Pazes. The boundary also touched Tabor, Shehazima, and Beth Shemesh, ending at the Jordan River, 16 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Issachar included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Asher. The fifth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Asher. Its boundaries included these towns, Hilkath, Heli, Beton, Akshaf, Elamelech, Amad, and Mishael. The boundary on the west touched Carmel and Shihor Libnath. Then it turned east toward Beth Dagon and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Iftael, going north to Beth Emek and Neel. It then continued north to Kabul, Abdon, Rehob, Haman, Cana, and as far as Greater Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Ramah and the fortress of Tyre, where it turned toward Hosea and came to the Mediterranean Sea. The territory also included Mehelbel, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Asher included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Naphtali. The sixth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali. Its boundary ran from Heluf, from the oak at Zeananim, and extended across to Adaminikab, Jabneel, and as far as Lakem, ending at the Jordan River. The western boundary ran past Aznoth Tabor, then to Hukuk, and touched the border of Zebulun in the south, the border of Asher on the west, and the Jordan River on the east. The fortified towns included in this territory were Zidim, Zur, Hamath, Rakith, Kinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kedish, Edri, and Hazor, Yiran, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, 19 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Dan. The seventh allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Dan. The land allocated as their homeland included the following towns. Zora, Eshtael, Ir Shemesh, Shealaban, Ajalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Eltica, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Ban Barak, Gathrimen, Mejarkin, Rakon, and the territory across from Joppa. But the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land, so they attacked the town of Laish. They captured it, slaughtered its people, and settled there. They renamed the town Dan after their ancestor. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Dan included these towns and their surrounding villages.